Now let's switch gears and talk about the global economy. The IMF's economic councillor made a rather bleak prediction on Tuesday. Listen in. The worst is yet to come, and for many people, 2023 will feel like a recession. The IMF has revised its growth projections for next year. It has lowered it from 2.9% to 2.7%. In the next few minutes, we'll take you through what this means for all of us. But first, I want you to take a look at the statistics on your screen now. These are the latest growth projections for some countries. So if the IMF projections come true, the global economy will grow by 2.7% next year. And this is after adjusting for inflation. Let me break it down further. What does the IMF forecast mean for us? The IMF said that the year 2023 will feel like a recession for many. This means that the body doesn't think there will be a global recession. However, the economic counselor says that there was a one in four chance that the world growth would be below 2%. Listen in. There's about 25% probability that world growth would be at 2% or below. And that's already a very low number. So 2% or below, we've only had that five times since 1970. So, and all of those five times, we sort of know what they are. This is the oil price shock of 73, the disinflation of 1981, the 2008 financial crisis, etc. You heard him invoking events like the 1973 oil shock and the 2008 financial crisis is never a great sign. But why should we care about the IMF's forecast, especially if the IMF is not exactly predicting a recession? It says it will feel like a recession. Let's now take a look at some of the latest inflation projections. The IMF's growth projections are adjusted for inflation, which means that the figure of 1% growth in the US for 2023 comes after we subtract 3.5% for inflation. So does that mean that people will overcome high prices? That affects all of us. That everything will be fine? Well, not exactly. Everyone across the country isn't going to all of a sudden become proportionately wealthier. That's because economic growth is not distributed equally. Let me give you some examples. CEOs can be expected to get bigger hikes than other employees. Therefore, some people will definitely grow less than others. But you see, unlike growth, inflation does not discriminate. So a loaf of bread will get more expensive for everyone, irrespective of their growth in salaries. And that is why a high growth rate is important during times of high inflation. The higher the growth rate, the more people benefit despite income inequality. But the IMF says that growth rates are going to stay low. So where does that leave the average person? Well, perhaps this calculation is why the IMF said that the year 2023 will feel like a recession for many people. Russia's invasion of Ukraine is blamed for the bleak economic outlook. The warfare has led to a global grain shortage. Both countries were among the world's largest producers of wheat. Exports have resumed after the UN and Turkey brokered a deal, but tons of grain was lost. The shortage has now driven fruit prices around the world. Then there's oil. The US and Western sanctions against Russia have led to a sharp rise in fuel prices. Europe is struggling to wean itself away from cheap Russian gas. In an attempt to punish Russia, Europe is now staring at an especially cold winter ahead. And of course, the recent OPEC Plus decision to cut oil production will also affect the fuel prices. From a US perspective, the projections would come as a relief. US President Joe Biden had recently announced that there may be a slight recession. So if the IMF projections are correct, he may be able to avoid that. Let's talk about the United Kingdom now. The UK's cost of living crisis shows no signs of abating. It is expected to see minuscule growth and high inflation. Meanwhile, China is expected to see its lowest growth rate in decades in 2022. The next year isn't expected to be too better for Beijing either. However, its inflation numbers are in control. President Xi Jinping can take some solace in that. Over the next two years, only some economies are expected to come out relatively unscathed. India is predicted to grow more than twice as fast as the rest of the world. This is despite India's growth projections getting reduced. So what does this mean? 
Well, that India is an emerging economy. India has been outpacing other nations for years and it will continue to do so. It did start from a lower base and continues to catch up to the high income nations. And for a more ground level perspective, India is still expecting shopping sprees during the upcoming festive season. So can the so-called developed world say the same? Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.